encourage, brother and sister. Remember when the Lord said, whatever you see in November, do not be discouraged because God is going to do something. Something is shaping up bigger than we know. People are getting ready to be replaced. People are getting ready to fade away because all of this will shortly start coming to pass. For the Lord's hand is not slack concerning his promises. Whatever he has said, he is able and capable and willing to perform. Amen. God is God, and he's looking at the earth right now. I don't know. I saw that. He's, he's looking at the earth. He's got the earth in his gaze right now. And he's watching wicked people. And he's watching godly people. And he's watching money. He's watching wealth. He's watching as the world's corrupt system is trying to steal your wealth. He's watching this right now. But there is the promise of the widow's might. Because no matter what, she gave more than everyone else. And so everything in that offering was accounted to her as if she had given it. So this is what I'm hearing the Lord say. I hear him say this, that he is watching that. And your giving has not gone unnoticed. And these wicked people will not steal it from you. I'm going to caution someone one more time about this. And you need to listen to me. You really need to take heed. Some of you on those ships that are holding back supply from God's people, do you actually think that the American people are stupid? Do you think they're dumb as a bag of rocks? Do you think the people of the nations of the world are dumb and really believe there's no workers on the docks to unload these ships? You're trying to create a scarcity crisis, and you know it. The Lord has given me that word way back, and I warned of it in the ship in the Suez. And then I told you, and gave the word that there would be another crisis with ships. Anybody remember that? And now there they are. But the Lord says this. He's not just holding the wicked politicians accountable for this. He's holding you captains of the ships. You're, co you're, you're being a cohort to these people. And you're willing to sacrifice the lives of my people. For gain. You will be like the captain when the flood starts on whom the king leaned. When, when the abundance comes through the gates, you'll see it with your eyes, but you'll not partake of it. And that Lord on whose hand the king leaned was trampled to death in the gates. You take heed and turn your ship around and move it somewhere and get my people those supplies, says the Lord. For you are just doing this for money. And you're worse than an abortionist. You are hoarding up money, starving people for your gain. Enjoy your Vegas trips. For I can crush the slot machine at the move of my hand. And I am causing revival to come and some of these places will close down. I hear the Lord said, I am, and I'm putting it in my words here because I don't, I don't hear another word about this. I'm, I'm tired of Vegas being called Sin City. I am going to call it Saint City and Saved City. Take heed. There are several words that I cannot say. Words 
concerning national security. So I send this word to Donald Trump. Call me. Call me. Hallelujah. And I will tell you. Hallelujah. How we bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. There is a general listening. You should call me. You should call me. But don't have corrupt advisors call me. Because they don't love you. I do. Now, how we bless the Lord. Let's just bless him. Come on, let's just thank him. How we thank the Lord. Yes, Lord. You know, I, I carry this staff at the direction of the Lord. This staff with the eagle's head. And the seal of the nation on the front of it. And I carry this staff as a prophet in the United States. But I'm a prophet to the nations. And I'm a prophet of Jerusalem. And this is the face, one of the four faces that's around the throne of God. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it goes around his throne. And these faces he will never have out of his gaze. And this nation was founded because we loved Jesus. Israel was founded because God loved, Jesus loved them. The only two nations created on the love of God. Yes. The Megan David, the symbol of covenant, the eagle of this nation, the symbol of covenant. God will not forsake us. And people are, are threatening this nation. And threatening Israel. Take heed. Take heed. Because we're about to pray as a people. Lord, behold their threatenings. Out of Acts 4. Behold their threatenings. And grant unto your servants that we speak the word of God with boldness. You're about to see a fire come out of God's people's mouths and the mouths of the prophets that will consume anything in front of it. You're about to see the words released with such power, with the roar of a lion. For it's the time of the lion. It's the time of the lion right now. After the time of the lion, I could tell you the next time that's coming, but right now it's the time of the lion. And I carry the staff of the eagle. It represents the resurrected Christ. And resurrection power is coming to God's people. From the lowest villages to the highest skyscrapers. 